Understanding Grief and Mourning A Journey Through Loss Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that touches all our lives at some point. Grief and Mourning Understanding these emotions is crucial, not just for English learners, but for everyone navigating the complexities of loss. We'll explore what these terms mean, how they differ, and how people across the globe experience and express these deeply personal feelings. So, let's get started and shed some light on this sensitive subject. Firstly, let's clarify what we mean by grief and mourning. Grief is the internal feeling we experience in response to loss. This could be the loss of a loved one, a job, or even an important personal possession. Grief encompasses a range of emotions, such as sadness, anger, confusion, and loneliness. On the other hand, mourning is the external expression of grief. It involves the rituals and practices that a culture or individual might use to process and express their grief, such as funerals, wearing black, or other memorial services. Mourning is how we show our grief to the outside world and can vary greatly between different cultures and individuals. Elizabeth Kubler-Ross introduced the concept of the five stages of grief, which has been widely acknowledged, though it's important to remember that everyone's grief journey is unique. These stages are 1. Denial struggling to accept the reality of loss. 2. Anger, feeling frustrated and helpless, lashing out as a result. 3. Bargaining, making deals with oneself or a higher power to try to prevent the loss. 4. Depression, feeling profound sadness and despair. 5. Acceptance, coming to terms with the loss and moving forward. Understanding these stages can help learners grasp the complexity of grief and recognize that it's a process, not a state to be fixed. Mourning practices can tell us a lot about a culture's relationship with death and loss. For instance, in some cultures, mourning involves a period of loud, communal grieving, while in others, it's a quiet, private affair. Some cultures have specific mourning periods and rituals, like wearing black clothing for a certain amount of time or holding memorial services on specific anniversaries. Discussing these practices can be an excellent way for English learners to expand their vocabulary and cultural understanding, as well as to explore the universal experience of loss through the lens of diverse cultural expressions. Grief and mourning are complex, universal experiences that deeply affect us all. By understanding the nuances of these emotions and the various ways people express them, we can develop a deeper empathy and connection with others around the world. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights into navigating and understanding grief and mourning, both in English and in your personal experiences. Remember, it's okay to grieve, and it's okay to seek support when you need it. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.